Now, still on what we're doing, this time we are going to look at um, how to read from a file and um, echo it back to the user or give it back to the user. Now, we're quickly going to do this one without wasting much time and we're going to start here. Okay. Now, the function used, first of all, let's close this file. Let's use fclose. Okay. To close the handle which is um file okay so the next line we are going to create a file or we're going to create another variable this time let's call it um let's call it read okay let's call it read and we're trying to read from the file and the file name is list.txt list.txt okay so now what we're, we're going to do now is we are going to use uh, for each statement to display the list of names in the in our file to the user okay and to do that we're simply going to do it like this now we are going to say for each um read as um, let's give it another variable called um, s read okay for each read as s read we want it to echo s read okay we want it to echo s read and append it to a comma and a space okay i think that is um the only thing now let's quickly check this and see what we'll get now let's go back to our uh, file let's do files.php uh, did i save that let me do a control s there now refresh this and let's write a name let's say thomas and now you see um universal team blah 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 and now this is what it echoed says successful entrance and we are quickly going to remove that right here okay so that we'll get what we're doing now it says successful read and from what we did here if we type another name let's say um blessing and you see um your file or you, the list of names in the file is being echoed at the top of the file now if you look at that very well you see universal space comma space we are going to treat that very quickly and um, to treat that we we will um use the trim function now we we'll trim that okay and we'll concatenate it with that let's um check that very quickly and see if we are right let me do a save go to a browser um file.php now let's add um clement let's say clement and then you see that our uh, space after the uh, name is now removed now we have a nicely written uh, list of names now we want to remove the comma at the last name because it's the last name so we don't need a comma there so we quickly um treat that as well now to treat that we will assign or now to do that we we will assign a count value here and we'll assign another variable to count the number of um names in the file okay so we assign that to read count right here and we use the function count to count the names in the file which is the read and variable here we are going to remove this for now okay we are going to remove that and we'll use an if statement to check say if now we say if count okay we say if count is less than read count what we want to do now is to echo Now, if count is less than read count, that is, if this is less than this, okay, it should echo the 
comma okay that means when it gets to the point where this is greater than this then it will not echo the comma so at this point we are going to put our count plus plus okay so that if it reads it increments and reads then it increments until it reads the whole names in the file where this will not be um, greater than this okay or this will be greater than this and then it will not put any comma if you don't understand that you can pause the video and look at the code very well but let's check that in our browser and see if our code is correct let's go there and we'll see our form now let's add a name to it let's say fiverr and you see um you have a fine arranged list of names and at the end there's no comma there okay so that is how to um, read from a file and that is how to display it to the user okay so take a good look at the code if you don't understand it you can pause the video and um, study it very well it's um well arranged and everything is in place 